As we continue to review the tape on the Colts and Bills game, I want to take a look at the play where Anthony Richardson threw the deep pass to Alec Pierce. Everything from the offensive line to what Anthony Richardson is doing and seeing to what happens down the field. So as we start here, we see that the Colts come out in 12 personnel, which means they have two tight ends, one running back on the field. The defense here has four down linemen. They have this guy here. Counts as the down lineman, but he's lining off in this defensive set. This is a nickel defense for the Bills, and they're currently showing two safeties. But both of these safeties right now are currently showing that they're dropping, okay? And that's what we're going to start with here. That's what Anthony Richardson is seeing as he's coming to the line of scrimmage. Okay, so as we get things going here, you can see the Jordan Poyer, number 20, on the left side of the screen, he's starting to come up. DeMar Hamlin, number three on the other side. He's coming up, but then as Jordan Poyer gets closer to the line, DeMar Hamlin's going to start to fade back. Okay, this tells you that th this is actually a cover one defense. So as we continue and as this play gets started, what I want to look at here, okay, you see things get started. I want to start at the left side of this line. Okay, Bernard Raymond, second-year left tackle. Keep an eye on him real quick. Look at him. He bodies this guy up, gets good contact, gets the arm extension, and then as he tries to spin move here, boom, hands off, feet move, stay in front of him. That is beautiful movement right there by Bernard Raymond. Okay, absolutely beautiful movement. Okay, so let's reset this. We know a lot of times we're going to see Big Q, Ryan Kelly. They've been together for a long time. They work together all the time. So let's watch what these guys are doing in the middle. Boom. All right. You could get a hands to the face right there on Big Q. All right. He kind of got away with that one. But pushes that guy to the inside with his head, looking to the outside in case he needs to help his young left tackle. Okay. And he pushes that guy right in to Ryan Kelly, who comes in, bodies him, and then Big Q comes in and hits him with the hip right there, okay? They got that guy locked up. Okay, now the positions that we need to worry about here, right guard, that is the worst position on this offensive line. Everybody knows that this is the position we're worried about. Okay, then you have the rookie right tackle out here filling in for Braden Smith. Now, Fries does a good job locking him up here initially. Right, you see him, he gets him, but he starts to get bull rushed and he can't stop it. Right, so he ends up in the lap of Anthony Richardson as he steps up, but all in all, that one wasn't terrible. Okay, so then you look over at the rookie over on the right side. Right, and I want to back this up again. I want you to notice how wide he is set now over the tackle. Okay, in this defense, this is exactly what they want is to get out wide right here. So as it keeps going, he pushes him out wide. He lets him go out wide. Now, the thing where Freeland messes up, he, I mean, he just immediately loses the hand check right there. Loses it, and he has to regain himself. So he pushes vertical up the field, and he starts pushing him more vertical up the field. Okay, now at this spot, we see what the offensive line is doing. I kind of wanted to highlight that just so, you know, the, the offensive line was a concern coming into the season. So I want to highlight what we have going on through the front here and the left side of the line in the center, like it worked perfectly fine. This, this right side was an issue though. But even with this right side being an issue, Anthony Richardson, is what we're looking at next. What is he seeing coming at him? Okay, this linebacker starting to come at him. He knows that's coming. But one of the things coming into the NFL that all the stuff that Anthony Richardson has to work on, one of those things is not pocket presence. He's really good about being able to feel the pocket and step up in the pocket, which is uncommon for, for rookie quarterbacks, especially one as in, inexperienced as him. Okay, so check this out. We see Freeland getting beat on the end here. And he just calmly steps right on up, gets his feet set, which is great, and then gets the power into it, and boom. That throwing motion right there is beautiful. Sets his feet. All right, and I'll just let this play for you. Boom. Sets feet. Boom. Per I mean, great throwing motion right there. That right there is exactly what you want to see from a young quarterback, and especially, again, one as experienced to him. That, that is beautiful from Anthony Richardson. Okay, so now let's switch over to the sideline view. 
so that we can see everything else going on that was out of screen. So as we switch over to the sideline view here, you know, we'll have a better idea of what the defense is doing. You see DeMar backing up here. But I really want to highlight Alec Pierce and his progression and, and how he's been doing. Because coming into the NFL, we knew he could do the go route, you know, go up and get the, the deep ball. But what we knew he needed to get better at was creating separation and being able to get off the line of scrimmage through press, press coverage using his release. Now, we've heard through training camp that it's gotten better. So being able to see it happen in real time is what we're looking for this year. So as we get started here, C takes a little jab inside to give himself some space to get inside, and then he dips that shoulder. It's real subtle, but he dips the shoulder just a little bit as that corner's trying to put his hand on him, and it helps him beat his guy getting to the inside. And as soon as he gets to the inside, Alec Pierce has the speed to compete with anybody. OK, but you see DeMar Hamlin sitting up here at the top and he's waiting to see what Alec Pierce is going to do. So as we let that run a little bit. Boom. OK, so this spot right here. So Alec Pierce, I mean, this is so subtle of a move, but it was exactly what he needed to do to free up some space on the outside. OK, because as he's running, he's starting to get his guy beat. He straightens up just enough as he's coming through here. You know, straightens up just enough. Boom, right there. That's the spot where he straightens up. And you see DeMar, where now his feet are back, which tells Alec Pierce that he did exactly what he needed to and he can hit his break and start coming out here, which is exactly what he did. Boom, start moving outside, starts running past his guy. DeMar's out here. I mean, just a dude. Come back. This throw from Anthony Richardson is ridiculous, man. To I mean, boom. That is an absolutely beautiful ball by Anthony Richardson. Okay, now unfortunately this was dropped, and I want to show you even another angle from the broadcast that I had because, I mean, watching the ball placement here is ridiculous. Okay, so this is the view that had me in awe, dude. I mean, just look at this pass, and we'll go through this one fairly quickly. Just, I mean, look at the ball placement here, hitting him in stride, 35, 40 yards downfield, right in the hands, dude, and dropped in a bucket. I mean, the nose of the football coming down exactly where it needed to. But you know what, man? This right here. This is what Alec Pierce had to work on coming into the NFL. This is exactly why you don't catch the ball with your body. Catch that with your hands. Make it a priority to catch it with your hands. That's why the gloves are there, okay? A throw like this has to be caught, man. This was a beautiful ball. Would have set you down. If this wasn't a touchdown, they would have been down at the one. Okay, man, like, look at that. Bringing it in, but you have to you have to bring that in. You can't let it squirt out right there. So that there is going to do it for this replay. I'd love to know what you thought of this play. I'd love to know what you think of these film breakdowns. And if there are any more plays that you think of um, with any of the games that we see, you let me know down in the comments because I could do this stuff all day. So if you guys want it, I'll, I'll do what I can to get the content out there. And with that said, as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and go Colts.